Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about breast pumps, the pumps that I have tried, and I have a lot of thoughts on them, including the LV, so I'm gonna share that with you. So first off, let's talk about the pump that I disliked the most, and that was my very first pump, and that's the pump that I used with my first child, Nikosh, and that was the Medela Pumpin' Style. Does it work? Yes, it absolutely works. Is it like bulky and annoying and make a lot of noise and like have parts that just don't work for you and stuff? Yes, it was such an annoying pump. I hated traveling with it. It came with the stupid bag that was also ugly that I stopped using. Um, I felt like there were a lot of parts to it and it kept malfunctioning on me where I would like have to call the company and be like, what's going on with this? And they'd have to explain to me. And I don't know, I just felt like there were so many pieces I had to keep cleaning and stuff. And it was just very, very annoying to me. It just felt like it was a big bulky thing that like felt a little archaic um, for a breast pump. I felt like even when I used it at work and stuff, I had to go into like a separate room or I found myself in bathrooms often, which I find very disgusting when you're actually trying to like pump out the food that you're gonna give your baby. You're like in a disgusting bathroom that you wouldn't wanna to touch at all. You wouldn't wanna to touch anything. Like the food that you're giving your baby, you have to like find yourself in a bathroom. It's just a really strange thing. So did I like the Medela? No, I hated it. But did it work? Absolutely. Did I get it for free? Absolutely I did. It came through my health insurance. So do I wanna complain? No, it absolutely worked. So if you get that because it's free through your health insurance, you're gonna to be totally fine. It is a good pump. It works. It does what it's supposed to do. I prefer to keep it at home though. It's one of those that's like, if you can keep it like on your kitchen counter and plugged in, then you're good to go. Now let's get into the LV because um, I like the LV way more than I like the Medela, but I do think it has some of its own issues too. And so I'm going to kind of weigh the pros and cons of it. So the pros of the LV um, is that it's, it's definitely a much more innovative pump and I fully appreciate where they're going with it. Uh, my LV was given to me by the brand. Um, this is not a sponsored video at all, but they did gift it to me so that I could try it out. The way the LV works is you put the pieces together and then it goes inside of your bra. The way that they present it, or at least maybe it's not the company that presents it this way, but the way it seems to be presented is that you could potentially wear this like, you know, at work and stuff like that. And yes, you could. Would you go into a meeting or anything like that with it on? Mm, no. Did I do conference calls while I used it? Yes. It's very quiet. So the pros are that it's like much better looking because it's two pieces. Um, and they're not connected by all these different wires and stuff, and you're not connected to like one central piece. So it is much more like functional in that sense. Two, it is so quiet. It is very, very quiet. People wouldn't even know that I had it on. I actually did take it to the movie theater with me. I just had to get out of the house and we had um, my in-laws here babysitting and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Let's go to a movie. I just wanna feel like a normal person, but I knew I was gonna to have to pump because movies these days are like three hours long or more. So I knew I was gonna to have to pump sometime in that movie, especially cause we were gonna to go to dinner too. So I took my LV pump with me and I just made sure that it was like connected. All of the parts were put together already. And, and I just like had like a little ice bag with me. And during the movie, I very, very secretly popped it into my bra and I pumped and it was awesome. Nobody knew that I had it. It just had like a little light that was kind of like, there were like little lights in that dark theater that were kind of popping out. But I also had a sweater over my shirt. So nobody knew I was pumping during the movie. So that tells you how discreet the actual LV pump is. Could you walk around and like people wouldn't know that you're pumping? No, it's not that discreet. It's a bulky pump still, but is it genius in the sense of like, it's very discreet like in different situations? Yes, like could I see you using it at your desk? Probably. Um, the thing that I would say to keep in mind is I do find it to be a little bit messy. And this is actually like with all of the pumps I've used, you have to have like a napkin with you when you're taking it off because some milk will drip off. I did find that like if there were times when I didn't connect it completely or connect it right, I would feel it like dripping a little bit and then I'd have to, re I'd realize like, oh my gosh, I'm leaking all over the place. I didn't connect it right. So then that would get messy. So that's something to keep in mind if you're gonna be like driving with it to work or something and using it like in, in like a public area, you might wanna have an extra shirt with you in case it gets messy. Another con, I'm, I'm kind of going with the cons of it. You can't really see the amount of milk that you're pumping. You can keep track of it 
on your app. I will also throw out there, you don't have to use the app. The app was very intimidating to me to like have to like log into my app to use it. And it turned out you never have to use the app. I think it's like a great idea, but you don't have to use the app and it's kind of like whatever anyway. So the, the problem with that is you can't really see how much milk you're pumping. The bottle that holds the milk is underneath. So while it's in your bra, you can't really see, like you can't get under your boob and see what's going on. Whereas like with regular pumps, you can see the bottles in front of you and how much milk you're pumping. So that's also a con of it is that you don't know if you're gonna like overflow. The good news is I have yet to pump that much milk. So for me, it was never actually an issue. I thought it might be at first, but it never became an issue for me. The last couple of thoughts on this, as far as cons go, is um, there were times when it wasn't like user friendly. There were a couple of times where you have to like fit it onto your boob perfectly for it to work and then it has to be held. You either have to hold it like this if you're not wearing a bra or you do it the way it's supposed to be and you put it in your in your bra. But if it's not on there correctly, there are these little um, pieces on there where your nipple's supposed to fit in like perfectly. And if you don't get that perfect, I found, then you didn't really pump a lot of milk. And in general, I found that the LV just didn't pump as much milk as a normal pump usually does. You get like a quarter less milk, if that makes any sense. Like you get just a touch less milk using the LV. And I think it's because it's just not as strong. When you look at your nipples, it's this is like TMI, but when you look at your nipples inside, when you're using those other pumps, you can see like your nipples are like, being almost like stretched out and it's almost like horrifying to watch happen, but you know it's like really sucking all that milk out. Whereas with the LV, it didn't, it never felt like that, right? So it's like, it's a nicer pump to use because it's not like stretching the hell out of your nipples. But at the same time, you, I felt like I wasn't getting as much milk. And so if that matters to you and you're trying to like build up like storage or you're trying to like do that kind of thing, then that that's something to take into account. Now for the pros of this, like I said, I discreetly used it in a theater. I think it'd be great for driving. You know, if you are sitting at your desk and stuff, you have to make sure it's charged at all times because it's a pump that you can charge. It's great, you can take all over the place. And because it's not connected to a bunch of wires and stuff, you do feel like you can get up, you can walk around and stuff. Like even when I used it at home, I felt like I could still walk around and do stuff while I had the pump on. Like you can't do anything crazy. Like you can't even bend over. It'll get all over the place, you know? But at the same time, you can walk around. Like if you wanna take a call, do anything like that. If you wanna be more discreet at your desk or anything like that, I do think the LV is really awesome for those kinds of purposes. The problem is the LV wasn't available through my health insurance. So it is about $500, which is very pricey for a pump. Um, even if you were just going to buy a pump, it's a very pricey pump, you know, like compared to all the other ones that are like on Amazon and stuff like the Medela and the Amita Maya that I'm gonna talk to you guys about next. I consider it more to be like a luxury item at this, mo at this point where I get to like pull this out for special occasions. Like we had our holiday party, I took it with me and you know, wasn't, very like concerned with like how I was gonna pump, where I was gonna do it and stuff. I knew I could just like very discreetly. Again, once you put all the pieces together, you can travel with it like that. And it's so easy to use. You like pop it into your bra, turn it on, let it go. And then you take off the little bottom pieces and it comes with caps. And it's just so super simple, but it's also $500. Your insurance doesn't cover it and it doesn't pump as much milk. So those are things to kind of keep in mind. So do I like the LV and do I recommend it? Yes. Do I want it to be my main pump? No, I don't want it to be my main pump actually. What I do like for my main pump is the next one I'm going to talk about. And that's the Amita Maya. All right, so the Amita Maya, um, I'm going to kind of break it down the way I did with the LV. Um, I will say as of right now, it's my favorite pump. Does it have its own issues? It does. I don't think there is a perfect breast pump on the market, at least not that I've heard of and not that I have personally tried. And when I talk to my girlfriends, they all seem to have the same complaints. It's all kind of like relative and dependent on what you're looking for in a pump. Um, so the Amita Maya, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. The things I like about the Amita Maya is one, is it like your traditional breast pump? Yes, you're gonna get like all of your needs met. And what I mean by that is it gets a lot of the milk out. It functions pretty much the way I've seen all the other breast pumps out there on the market function. It's got the two little tubes that connect to the centerpiece. You connect it with the bottles. It's got like the little cups, you know, that you put onto your boobs and then you can use it with like, you know, a breast pump bra and stuff. It's very typical in that sense and it gets lots of milk out. But what I like about it the absolute most is that you can charge it and the piece is not very large. So while it's not like the LV where you can put it into your bra and literally have your hands completely free, you can actually like 
pick up the one little piece and like walk somewhere else if you need to. Like the other day I was pumping with it and I heard like Nikosh start freaking out and I actually had it plugged in, but I could just unplug it really quick and take the piece with me and go see what's happening, which is very helpful because I felt like with my Bedella, I was kind of like stuck to this one place with it. So that's something that I think makes it very, very um, easy to use. It has just as many pieces as like my Medela did for instance, but for some reason, all of it is just so much more straightforward to use. They're just much more functional to me. I haven't had it malfunction on me at all, which is also very helpful. It's just a very straightforward pump. It's a little bit more compact, which I think is a big deal. And it kind of serves as my in-between. Like when I think about my Medela, I hated it because it was so bulky and all the parts and everything. And then when I think about my LV, it's like the opposite, but it's just not as efficient. When it comes down to it, like the one that's just right is my Amita Maya. Is the Amita Maya a perfect breast pump? I, you guys, I don't think a perfect breast pump exists. And that's why I didn't get into like the nitty gritty of each one. These are, this is like just overall, like what I thought of each of them and why I didn't like them or did like them. So I think that's kind of the way I wanted it to be broken down. Like if somebody would have explained it to me like this. That's what I wanted to hear. You know, like another side note, there are those like silicone pumps, the hand ones, the Hakka and like the Nature Bond. I love those things. I find those to be more helpful when you're in the beginning of breastfeeding and you're really engorged and stuff and you need some relief or you wanna catch like the excess milk and stuff. And I recommend that actually everyone get at least one of those to help you. Um, but those aren't gonna be your main pumps. Like those are gonna be things that you have to help you. Like if you think you might need to relieve yourself for like, just a little bit to get you past like the next 30 minutes or something like that, then a silicone pump is awesome. Um, but it's not gonna be your main pump in my opinion. So those are my thoughts on the breast pumps I've tried. Let me know in the comments below if you have any additional questions, I'll obviously answer. Um, if you have a pump that you absolutely swear by, let us know that too, because that's always great to know. I'd also love to know what your experiences were with any of these pumps if you tried them, because it's always great to get feedback from everybody, especially because you don't always know what the reviews are really like if they're true reviews and stuff. You can find me on Instagram, I'm at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you soon, bye.